Hey guys, it's Jason Dunn here from Apple Thoughts. Boy, it still seems weird for me to say that. Uh, and this is a video, really simple, going to be pretty short. Uh, it's the Mac Mini uh, RAM upgrade. So uh, the Mac Mini, previous generations of Mac Mini, uh, you had to use uh, like a putty knife and a couple of other things to upgrade the RAM. It was a bit of a pain in the butt from what I was told. So I was pretty excited actually when Apple announced that they had, uh, you know, a re kind of redone the design on the body uh, to give people a, a, a relatively simple way of upgrading the RAM. Actually, it's probably going to be dead simple frankly. Now, um, the, the fine people from Kingston uh, sent me uh, two two gigabyte sticks. Okay, so um, the Mac Mini uses uh, SODIMs. Those are laptop RAM sticks. Uh, so it's really important that you get the right kind of RAM. Uh, it uses 1066 megahertz DDR3 SODIM. Uh, minimum of two gigs is what it ships with. That's what I have in here right now. And it supports up to eight gigs. Um, Kingston sent me two uh, two gigabyte sticks. So I'm just gonna pop it open here. We'll get the RAM out and get it all kind of ready to go. So there's one stick and there's two sticks. Of course, uh, you can get uh, RAM from, uh, you can check it out at kingston.com or any of your favorite um, online sellers, you know, Amazon, Newegg, whatever. So I'll set that aside for just a moment. So here we have our beautifully designed Mac Mini. Again, Really, really impressed with the hardware design. I mean, Apple really knows how to design a system. You're gonna notice that there's there's two little dots up here. All you need to do is actually just put your fingers on each of the holes, and you actually just sort of uh, shift over, and you'll hear kind of a click, and then, voila, there is, uh, there's the bottom. So inside here, uh, basically you have this, uh, this looks, well this is a fan here. So it's obviously, I mentioned in my first video that I thought it might be passively cool, that of course is not the case. There, there is gonna be a fan here. Um, and here, here's the RAM. So here are the, uh, the two, two sticks of RAM. Uh, looks like it's pretty simple. There's two little clips here. You basically, are, I'm just gonna uh, press the two little clips outward. The first RAM uh, stick, there we go. So these are one gigabyte sticks right here. Uh, 8,500 speed, yep, so that's right. And then there's a second stick. You just press out the two little clips. Oh, looks like it's getting stuck on the first set of clips. And then you pull it out. There we go, so there's the second stick. So now we have our two, our two open slots. Um, you wanna make sure that when you're installing it, the shorter side is to the left so that it lines up with this. Uh, basically, I'm just going to kind of slide it in there from the top. Um, oh, I don't think that did it because there's 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 going to be it's going to be a little a little bit of uh, vertical pressure that I'm going to need to apply on this. Oh boy! Well, now I've done it. This is kind of interesting. Maybe this isn't quite as easy as I, <laughs> quite as easy as I thought it was going to be. It's also, of course, a little bit tricky to try to do this on camera since I can't have the Mac as close as I can. Uh, I'm gonna pause the camera here and go get a tiny screwdriver so I can get that piece of RAM out there because uh, I can't quite figure out how to do that. Hold on a second. Okay, so we're back. So yeah, I, I used uh, just my little pocket knife to kind of pry out the piece of RAM. Uh, of course, you wanna be really careful with that. Basically, you kind of want you kind of want to go in uh, at a, at a bit of an angle here, but you don't want to let it drop back. So you, you want to have it leaning forward a little bit, and then you actually press down until it, it sort of you, you'll sort of feel it connect, and then you won't see any, any kind of pins here. And it's down, and then you're just going to push back, and then it is in. And then with the second one, it's going to be kind of a similar deal. You're going to come in uh, at a bit of an angle. You'll sort of push it down until you feel it connect, kind of like that and then you'll basically just push it back until it clicks. And then boom, you have both your RAM sticks inside there. Uh, definitely, uh, I think the, the easiest RAM upgrade I've probably ever done, uh, which, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and now of course I have to stick this back on. Um, oh. oh, there we go. So you want to, uh, when you're putting this back on, you want to line up the, uh, the uh, holes there. So I'm going to uh, line up the first two up at the top here, and then I'm just going to press inward, and I'm going to kind of uh, click it to the uh, click it to the right. It doesn't want to go. Mac Mini, why are you doing this to me? Uh, hmm, that's kind of interesting. Um, let me just, let me just take it off camera here for a second, and 
There we go. Okay, so basically I just needed to kind of press my hand down on it, use a little bit more force, and then kind of rotate it this way. And you know it's actually sealed and sort of ready to go when these two dots are uh, lined up. So yeah, there you go. That was my RAM upgrade um, from 2 gigs to 4 gigs, courtesy of the nice people at Kingston who sent me this RAM. So again, um, real easy. Uh, kudos to Apple for making it uh, much, much easier than any previous version. Um, and thank you to Kingston for sending me uh, the RAM. I use K Kingston RAM in virtually all of my computers. Really good, high quality stuff that I've never had go bad on me. So yeah, I definitely recommend Kingston. And that's basically it. So uh, thanks for watching this video. If you have uh, your own Mac Mini, uh, hopefully you're able to um, upgrade the RAM just as easily. This has been Jason Dunn from Apple Thoughts. Thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe, uh, rate the video, and post a comment. Thanks a lot.